What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Business Beavers podcast. Today, we're going to talk about stocks that you should be buying during the pandemic and even holding after the pandemic's over that's going to make you some serious cash. So make sure you tune into this episode because it's super important. And make sure if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button. Oh, what, what, what do you got? What do I got? What do you got? Are you uh, investing in stocks right now? Yeah, I, right? I, I, I don't want to give out their names. What, why? You think everyone's going to no, invest in them? I don't think well, and like, it might like hurt like how well they're doing. What? No, that's going to drive it up even more. No, because of cause here's what cause here's what's happening. Are you going to be one of those people that no, 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 just no, 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 no. is secretive? Please, please, okay, please. all right, all right, all right, okay, all right. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I guarantee you, during the elections, the stocks are going to plummet. Absolutely. Like it always does. Historically, it always yeah, does. Yeah, historically. So historically, I'm going to take my investments, dab, and, and, then, and run away. Not run away, but I take most of my money hold on to it wait for the election to be over and then go oh i'm gonna put this back in hmm, fair enough that's a good idea so you're not gonna tell us what stocks you got in no, in, in right now uh, nope okay uh, so i guess we're just gonna jump right into it then <laughs> <laughs> so stocks that are gonna be covid proof if another wave does happen i mean as it progressively gets worse and worse and worse yeah um i mean you're looking at anything tech right so if people are going to be staying at home yeah um, Netflix, Facebook, Amazon, um, you know, Pinterest, yeah. stocks like that are definitely going to be recession proof that are definitely going to help your portfolio kind of stay borderline. There might be a little bit of growth there as long as you watch it. Um, companies that did really, really well. I actually will confess I do have a portfolio that has stocks in Zoom. Zoom, um, Zoom was huge. Zoom, PayPal, Etsy, Slack. Yeah. Yeah, Etsy was huge too. Yeah. Etsy, I can't believe the growth of Etsy within the last six months. I, I would have never predicted that a handmade um, marketing platform, not a marketing platform, but basically a marketing platform for handmade artisan stuff to grow 200, 300%. Like it's just mind boggling that COVID hit. And Etsy just skyrocketed. Because there's a there's a need for it now. People love yeah. handmade stuff, but More it's just ever, so man. expensive. I know, but the, oh. that's, it's worth it. Like for me, and this is maybe this is some like spiritual hokey pokey lame shit. But Possibly. you know, when I buy something that's handmade, yep. And this is just this maybe it's because I'm, I'm neurotic and like this is just how my mind goes to. But you know that maybe that person was having the best day of their life when they made that. Maybe they were having the worst day of their life when they made that. You know that is something that a machine can never like put something into. So do you feel like emotional connection to that person because it was handmade by maybe them? Maybe not emotional connection to them, but it makes me appreciate what they made because I don't know. I just it's the human experience of like owning something that somebody else made. I think this is where um, you're starting to see a trend of products that are becoming more lifetime products instead of the cheapest and i I really love to see this transition of where quality beats price because when it comes down to it if i'm gonna buy a a 20 dollar pair of jeans that's gonna last me six months or i'm gonna buy a hundred dollar pair of jeans that's gonna last me 10 years not like hand over fist i'm always gonna buy the jeans that are gonna last me 10 15 years right why wouldn't i so I'm really happy to see that transition into things. Um, stocks like Lululemon skyrocketed. Um, Under Armour, Nike, um, those clothing brands really skyrocketed yeah. too. Um, me personally, I took the the higher risk stocks that, like uh, Cruise Lines. Oh um, man, they um, got they got clobbered. They they did, which was a really really good thing. You know, when a stock takes a plummet of, you know, going from sixty dollars to ten dollars, and you pick up a stock for ten dollars, like Norwegian or uh, Royal Cruise Lines. I think cruises, especially, I, I, I unless cruises can. They're they're already starting to sail in Europe. More green, I think, like they're gonna start dying out. They will. Cruise lines will never die, though. Cruise lines need to have a transition where they're going to be more environmentally friendly. They have to, man. They're and especially so with co- especially with COVID coming up. Oh, fuck. I mean, they I, need I to the have cruises are just cesspools for germs and bacteria. Yeah. Oh, but they've actually put a plan together where they're going to increase the filtration 
Um, they're going to increase uh, sanitary, um, you know, hot spots for uh, touch points, um, less crew members, less tourists on board. So they're taking steps, which I feel is a really good direction to go to with the second wave coming up. And once they start seeing revenue again, that's those stocks are just going to skyrocket. Think about this. Everybody's sitting at home right now, have nowhere to go, nothing to do. They're bored as shit. Imagine what's going to happen once all once COVID's gone. Assuming they have jobs sitting around at home. Well, even if they do, people are think... people are going to go into debt because they're going to want to get out of the fucking country. I feel like they're not, especially with the way inflation is going and depending how the elections go. Because um, the yeah. podcast, but I have a feeling depending on which U.S. president is elected, it either goes okay or it goes really really bad for the economy yeah man well well uh, I, again i'm not anything to do with political parties or anything because i do not follow politics whatsoever yeah. i could give two shits i probably should a little more than i do i feel like if you but follow politics and business like especially in the united states like it unfortunately it, 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 go hand in hand i, I hate yeah. it but whatever um i read an article saying that when democratic parties are in power it actually is better for the economy compared to republicans yeah why i have no idea but this is what i'm reading i can speculate from cnbc yeah i don't know but anyways going back to it i mean don't invest in oil oil is the the past it's gone it's it's going it's slowly dying it is exxon just got hacked from uh the s&p 500 the what the S and P five hundred, the, the top five hundred companies. They got hacked by another company. They didn't get hacked, but they got slashed. So they got taken out of oh, the S. Like, like, yeah, hacked, yeah, okay. like they got hacked they out. Like, hacked, no, like, like they didn't make the cut. Like okay, they okay, gone. Okay. One of the biggest oil companies got hacked out of the S and P five hundred, and Etsy got put in. Oh yeah. Fucking Etsy beat out Tesla to go into the S and P five hundred. Hell yeah. So you might want to invest in Etsy because that might be a huge company coming up that's going to explode if it hasn't already. Or I don't think it it's hit its ceiling. It could turn into a Theranos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because they're taking blood and just pretending everyone's got cancer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, don't listen to Mark. Don't invest in anything of, of Elizabeth Holmes. No, she, she doesn't. She can't. She doesn't have any stocks. Te- so. Tesla has huge 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 growth um there's also a company out of china called neo and if you have a hundred dollars you can buy basically six seven eight stocks of neo which could be the next honda wow yeah i don't know if i buy a car from china look how many honda civics are going out there right now everybody has a honda civic yeah. Because they're so cheap. But I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't buy, I don't want to buy anything from China. If I can, I try to avoid it. I would too. That's why I would, I would rather buy a Tesla than a Neo. Yeah. But Neo has some really cool innovative ideas Such for as? design coming, just for design purposes. Like, Such as what? Um, they have an SUV coming out that, I mean, is apparently going to have more range than the Model X. Uh, like driving range, so like battery capacity oh, okay. is gonna have bigger battery capacity, and gonna be basically a third of the price of the Model X. So you can pick up a Model X for one hundred and sixty thousand, roughly, yeah, give or take. That sounds something has or, to give. It's like just they, Chinese what? Chinese engineering. China, no, it's not Chinese engineering. It's Chinese labor camps, bud. Well, exactly. That's you're not you're gonna cool. Pay, no, it's not cool at all. But but I'm just saying from a revenue perspective. It's going to help the stocks. Come on, man. You're, 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 you're busting my balls. <laughs> I'm, I'm just you're saying. Wait, you want to make some money? No, not on the backs of like people. No. Of sweatshops? Fuck that. No. All right. You would do that. If you were, if you could, would you have a... Okay, no. Th- you, we're getting into it. <laughs> would you have Mark a, is I'm getting... Looking, right. I'm looking you in the eye. Like, man to man. Mark, Mark the, you, the sun is setting. The sun is setting. Would you have a sweatshop? If you could make a lot of, if you could like if you had a company no i couldn't okay so going back to you know a lot of business people are, are sociopaths and yeah. neurotic it's neurotic no not, not neurotic not, maybe not. empathetic like, Empa- yeah less empathetic than you know you and i maybe so to speak yeah. i feel bad for people that 
you know, live paycheck to paycheck. I don't want people to live like that. I would love to help people get out of that. Hence why we started this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I, I couldn't do sweatshops. Labor, people like working day in, day out, just barely making ends meet. It's not, it's not a way to live. No, that's why, um, what company, Costco. Costco is honestly still a really good company to invest 100%. in. Um, but their mentality there, like everybody you talk to that works at Costco loves their job. Well, yeah, because it's in line. They, because they, they realize that having happy employees makes for a happy work environment. And having a happy work environment means customers like shopping there. Have yeah. you ever been into a place where you've walked in, you've never, you haven't talked to anyone and you just realize this place, nobody likes it here. Walmart. Yeah. One, One definitely. 100%. Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. I hate that company. Yeah, I do too, man. Yeah. Like, um, actually, funny enough, uh, kind of going off topic, but Walmart is actually a company that will, um, so they took a company that made like Rubbermaid containers. It was a Rubbermaid, to my knowledge. I, I don't know the exact company, but this is what I've been told. So they took a company kind of like Rubbermaid and was like, hey, we're going to order a million units of whatever you manufacture. And the company's like, wow, this is the biggest order we've ever had. So now we need to scale. We need to get bank loans. We need to up the manufacturing. We need to do all this stuff. Then all of a sudden, Walmart was like, well, you know, we don't actually need this stuff. Now the company's on the verge of bankruptcy. Walmart comes in and goes, okay, we'll give you two cents on the dollar of what your company is worth and bail you out and we'll take over the company. And the company's hella high water. They can't do anything, so they agree to it. Now Walmart has the manufacturing rights to one their product. They get everything for cost, oh, and that's how they get low low price every day. That's like Elizabeth Holmes level of sociopathy, but with more cunning. Yeah, it's basically playing the game of monopoly and outsmarting your competition yeah. or your your suppliers. Like it's do just fucked. Think, do you think in our do you think it's healthy for a... Oh, no, that's getting political. Fuck, no. Well, let's jump jump back into stocks for a yeah. second. Um, yeah, I think, you know, there's definitely going to be another wave coming in. Um, so investing in companies, uh, tech companies are going to be really huge. Um, you know, food brands, uh, Clorox, latex. Not latex. latex. Yeah, latex. Why not? Oh, yeah, latex gloves. Good point. Yeah, yeah. Um, Johnson and Johnson made a huge jump back in uh, back in the first COVID wave. Wow. You okay? Yeah, I just had something in my eyes. Oh, okay. All right. Um, but yeah, companies like that. Um, any kind of new streaming coming up? Uh, I wouldn't invest in Disney. Disney Plus is actually bombing right now. Disney itself is not having a really good time yeah, with COVID. I, mean, I think a lot so, of entertainment companies aren't doing so good. Like, no. Warner Brothers probably isn't doing good. Fox. Fox, they just closed. Was it Fox? That clo- no, yeah. Fox closed down Century 21. Yeah. Or Century. Century 20 or Century 21. It was yeah, 20, yeah, 20th Century. So, did yeah. Netflix, I mean, Netflix is doing okay. Yeah, Netflix is doing really well. Netflix is just so colossal. And yeah, they it, have a lot of money behind them. Oh, fuck, man. Good for them, though, because they've built a company. And if you can build a company that is online based and you don't need a huge brick and mortar operation that is the business model to go towards nowadays do you think once uh because covid's changed things but before covid i was really confident that brick and mortar were going to change the way they did business so there's going to be a lot more of like curbside pickup and delivery right but more importantly i think a brick i thought brick and mortar and i mean it still could happen maybe but this is just all speculation like think of um think of a business like um pet smart so you it's a brick and mortar you walk in sometimes you bring your pet sometimes you don't right and you find what you're looking for you buy it you get out uh what walmart was um and supposedly going to do was uh change change the experience so they were going to have like a, like a coffee kiosk in like the middle of the store okay so you would come and you would like just visit and like they were going to have um, just like um, yeah, but the idea they were and then they were going to have um, like the item name and like a picture of the item and the list so it's less like uh, so shopping from like a coffee menu kind of and they, like on the sides of the store so it was more like an experience than like a chore 
So you'd go there, you'd have like this premium coffee, you'd be talking to people, and like you'd be using like an interface. And, and like vir think of like virtual on like you'd walk in and you'd say, "Oh, I want that product," and then it would like like put like a headset on you and you could see it like virtually. No, no, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's change. <laughs> well, I mean, it is. I mean, they're doing virtual online, like virtual reality right now for like some online business. Really? Fuck yeah, man. Online business, I, I think COVID is definitely going to take what people expected the future to be and just accelerate it to the point where we have to do it now. Um, curbside pickup, online deliveries, online grocery deliveries. Um, I think that's really going to ramp up even after COVID's not a thing anymore. Oh, I think man. go if it's, if it's not COVID, it's something else. Um, it it will be, but I think going into like a brick and mortar store is going to be completely different. I think you're going to see a lot less traffic going inside stores even after COVID. Yeah. And I think that's just going to be the new norm. Yeah, it's um so things change. Things always change. <laughs> um so I mean, low low risk. I mean, let's just reiterate everything. So at the end of the podcast, people can kind of just skip to this and listen to the last 15 seconds and get everything. Yeah, let's get it done, <laughs> um, So going back, if you want to steadily invest in stocks and not have to worry about your money going down or losing all your money, yeah. um, companies like Amazon, Facebook, uh, Netflix, um, Apple, Google, those Microsoft. Are, those are like those are powerhouses that are safe so they'd be like the triple a blue chip yeah. tech stocks basically um something a little bit more riskier um if you're not looking to get your money out and you're okay with losing your money remember high risk high reward yeah um yeah, always, yeah. yeah stocks like uh uber um airbnb is actually coming up to be public soon which is going to be huge once they go public yeah fair enough. it's going to be a, a stock that's just going to skyrocket um Companies like Cruise Lines, um, Expedia, uh, Air Flights, uh, stuff like that, where if you're okay with having a really risky stock sit in your portfolio, you can make a lot of money down the road. I mean, Norwegian right now is sitting at, you know, if it goes back to normal, you're five, six X in your money. Wow. So, and I, I mean, it's all hypothetical, but I think there's going to be a lot of pent up demand of travel once people can start traveling again. Oh, that's cray cray. It's insane. So, I mean, imagine you invest a thousand dollars, you get five thousand dollars back. Wow. Yeah. For not doing anything. Um, high dividend companies, uh, Pepsi, Coca Cola, um, stocks like that that are going to be really not affected but still have a high dividend payout yeah. i mean why would you have your money sit in a mutual fund that's going to make you one percent when you can have your money sit in pepsi or coal or pepsi or coke and have a dividend payout three and a half three point seven five percent yeah that's without the stock even moving so if the stock goes up five dollars and you get a dividend payout of three and a half percent why not why not? It's better than having your money sit in the bank, people. Invest in stocks, but more importantly, invest in yourself. Yeah, actually, actually that is a whole nother topic that we should do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the Business Beavers podcast. It means the world to us that you listen to these episodes. We also love seeing you out there. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like this episode or if you just like us. And make sure to browse through our previous episodes because we got a ton of content coming up and we did a ton of content. So make sure you check that out too. And we'll see you next week.